Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Pepperbell here, bringing you guys some Blacklight Retribution, a game I have not posted in a long, long time. A game I adore and love sometimes, but thanks to the recent changes they've made, which made it more like Blacklight Tango Down. But other than that, it's great. I'm loving the game. It's freaking fantastic. And this week is a nice week. It's going to be a good week. Why? Because the PlayStation 4 comes out on the 15th, which is just in a few days. Which. Blacklight Retribution is going to be one of their launch titles that are going to be released day one with the PlayStation 4 as a free-to-play game along with Planet Side 2. So, I mean, that's pretty, pretty good. I mean, you're probably thinking, though, like, Pepper, what's the big deal considering you have a PC and you already have these games on PC, both Planet Side 2 and Blacklight Retribution? Well, I guess my explanation to that would be that it's a new platform. The whole new platform comes with a whole new player base, and a whole new player base comes with various changes and differences compared to previous already set in stone models or versions like the PC version. For Blacklight Retribution, there's a lot of, and people know this, that just games on PC in general have their own kind of servers, which are like people can just host a random server by themselves, change the rules of the way they want, and there you go. Well, usually on consoles, there's kind of more strict limits like that. Usually it's either dedicated or it's like it's whoever the host is, but the servers kind of, you know, stay the same. Like the game rules don't really change unless you create your own custom lobby or something. But when you're going to matchmaking, generally there's dedicated servers or there's not. And Black Retribution, I don't know the situation whether or not they're going to have dedicated servers, but I know that it's going to be a little bit more diverse in the actual gameplay. It's going to feel more like a stock game like Black Light Tinko Down did compared to how Retribution feels now, which... Retribution kind of has this whole feel of, I don't really know how to explain it. I mean, it's been in, it's been here for a while. The game's been out for a long time. A lot of the player base, most of them now are just the hardcore guys who stuck around or those who kind of pop in and, like, never heard of the game and want to play it for a little bit and they get turned off because of the way it is. But the game is going to be a little bit more standardized for the console, I feel, just because that's what kind of happens with consoleized games. I mean, everyone has the same playing field. Everyone has a controller, everybody's going to have the exact same, even, balanced experience. Nobody's going to have better hardware over anybody else, so it's going to be very, very balanced, much like Black Light Tango Down was, which I love, and I'm looking forward to playing it, and I'm hopefully, I'm hoping that I'm not going to have to start my character all over again. I'm hoping that since it's a perfect world, like, account, it'll recognize my character, and maybe, I don't know, I should probably look into that online to figure that out myself, but if not, then... Screw it, I'll start all over, even though it's gonna suck, because there's a lot of shit to unlock, and it's a free-to-play game, and unlocking stuff in this game takes forever, since they decided to make it so you pretty much cannot get anywhere now by playing the game by yourself, or playing it just in a free way, because the game is a lot harder to earn GP, which is those in-store credits, which you can use to buy things permanently, or rent them out, thanks to the free-to-play model. But I mean, it's a lot harder now, which I've noticed, which is a lot of the reason why I stopped playing Blacklight Retribution as well. So I'm not sure exactly how they're going to change things for the console version. I don't know exactly if it's going to be different in any way. But I mean, I'm still pretty stoked for it, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Because I mean, the PS4 looks like a nice piece of hardware for $400. You can't go wrong. It's a nice console. I mean, I feel like I'm kind of betraying Microsoft because I've been with Xbox for the longest time, and it was always my go to console. But. I don't know, man. The PlayStation 4 just sold me this time. Microsoft royally fucked up, and Sony is just taking the cake right now, and I'm going to be with them until Microsoft either gets their shit together. I mean, eventually I'm going to own both consoles, because I plan to own both this time around. But until then, then I don't really know. PlayStation 4 and PC all the way. So, with that, there's going to be a lot more PlayStation 4 gameplay coming to my channel. And you're probably thinking, like, what the fuck, I thought this was a PC channel? Well, no, this is a variety gaming channel. It means I play a variety of games in a variety of ways, so... I mean, my channel actually started off with Xbox 360 gameplay. I played Blacklight Tango Down, which was the game that launched my channel. And a lot of... I even played Call of Duty Black Ops and some other games. I don't really remember right now, but Halo Reach and Rainbow Six and etc. Those games were all on the Xbox 360, so it only makes sense that I kind of, you know throw in some PlayStation 4 gameplay as well, and if Killzone actually turns out to be a pretty good game multiplayer-wise, I'm probably going to be uploading a lot of either live commentaries or just regular gameplay commentaries for that game. Same with Blacklight Retribution, I'm going to be pretty much giving you my opinions on the games on the PC, or on the PS4, and we'll see how they do. Planet Side 2, I'm not really considering, because although I already have it on PC, and I'm already part of an outfit that I respect and admire and want to be part of even though I don't really play Planet Side that much anymore 
surprised they still keep me in it considering I haven't been on in like months, but that's besides the point. I don't want to go on the planet side and have to start from scratch all over again. Planet, it's like one of those games that's like you can't, starting from scratch just sucks. Especially in a free to play game where it's like you got a lot of progress to make and it takes hours and hours of farming to actually obtain everything you want and that just sucks. When you're playing a game like Call of Duty or something like that, or Battlefield, where it's just a very basic unlock system where it's like, okay, I can start from scratch and still do good. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal to start over, but a game like this, there's a lot of things to unlock, like parts. Just to buy one part like requires like thousands of GP, which takes like multiple matches, like 20 matches just to fucking get that alone. Unless you want to spend real money and make it a lot easier. So it is kind of frustrating to start from scratch in that, in that respect, but I mean, regardless... It's going to be fun. I mean, I'm looking forward to the next generation consoles. I know that I'm primarily a PC gamer, but I do like to enjoy some console gameplay here and there. And considering that the PlayStation 4 is a huge leap forward in technology compared to the previous systems, so, I mean, Battlefield 4, I might even pick that up again just on the PS4 just because, again, different player base, different experience, everyone has an even playing field, and it still does look gorgeous. I mean, if you go online and look at all the gameplays for it, you will see the game is very comparable to the PC version, and it still has 64 player servers, so... That right there is is something. That's like a big deal. So finally console gamers are going to get to experience what it's like to play Battlefield on PC. And considering the PC version of Battlefield is still buggy as shit. Like it's still having lots of problems. Crashes all the time. It's getting really annoying. And they're taking forever to fix it. And also it's poorly optimized on some systems. Not so much on everything but I mean still it could be better. PlayStation 4 seems like a great alternative in the meantime, so in that respect, I am looking forward to playing the PlayStation 4 overall, and I can't wait to bring you guys some more gameplay for that coming in the coming weeks when it comes out on the 15th, the 15th of November. So it's going to be good times, good times with shooting people, and killing stuff, or not, depending on the game. Anyway, my name's been Pepperbelly, thank you very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed watching the video, please remember to rate it with a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with my content going forward into the future when I release more stuff. Take care, guys.